Hey guys, we're gonna do an install video on this Ranch Hand Legend Grill Guard for a 2013 Ford F-250. Uh, install is pretty easy, it took about two hours with some help. Uh, main reasons we put it, wanted to install this was for protection, we got a lot of deer in the area, and so we wanna have that on there just in case. And second, it just looks cool. So, hope you like the video. Wherever you are, I'm home. This ranch hand grill guard from Camper City in Horn Lake, Mississippi, Friday evening, and it arrived the following Tuesday. When we picked it up, it was packaged very nicely. It was very securely wrapped up, foam around the edges of it, and was placed on a pallet that was strapped down. The uh, dealer was very kind to load it on our trailer with a forklift and got us out of there pretty fast. When we got it home, we opened everything up on it, inspected the grill guard for any damage or uh, issues that may have been uh, happened to it during shipping or storage. Uh, everything looked very nice on it. I had all the hardware that was supposed to be included with it for the install. Okay, so the first step of the install is to cut your openings for the air dam. So what you want to do is find the middle of the air dam. You want to measure out 19 and a half inches to 21 and a half inches on each side and make a mark there. And then also you want to measure 3 and 7 eighths and 4 and 7 eighths from the bottom and mark that. That will make your openings approximately 2 inches and they should be about 39 inches apart. I used a two inch spade bit to cut my holes. Um, some people opt to just cut a slot in the air dam. Um, I thought that cutting the holes looked pretty nice and uh, made it pretty easy. I did get off on the measurement just slightly so I did have to go back and clean up the hole just, just a bit to get the straps to slide in later on the install. Okay, next you want to remove the four 18 millimeter bumper bolts uh, that are through the tow hook bracket. Uh, you can use either a impact or a regular ratchet and socket assembly. Um, I was able to get them off pretty easy. They were not uh, too hard to break loose. Okay. 
next you want to slide the grill guard up to the front of the truck and uh, begin attaching it using the bolts that you took out. We placed the grill guard on a floor jack and rolled it over to help support the weight. And then I had two of my helpers kind of hold it uh, on the ends to kind of get everything aligned up. Once you get the grill guard bolted up with those fork bolts, the next step is to crawl under the truck. Um, my particular vehicle being a 2013, it did have these two brackets that were attached to the front of the frame. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called, but I'll highlight them in the video here. I'm, I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if this thing is actually supposed to come off, because that's about how much room I need is the thickness of that bracket right there that no. goes up. Mm -hmm. So let me, I'm gonna do that. Uh, they were on there with four 18 millimeter nuts on there. They were a little tough to get into just due to the positioning, but with the uh, socket and ratchet assembly, I was able to uh, get them off. It just took a little time. There's not a lot of room to uh, maneuver your ratchet in there, so it'll take a couple of minutes. Okay, these brackets won't be reused to assemble the uh, remaining parts on the grill guard, so just set them out of your way. Next, you're going to slide the hex head bolt tab from inside the frame facing out. Can you give me a little more flat washer? And then you're going to install your 1 3 8 inch spacer and then one of your 5 16 inch spacers and then the support bracket over those bolts. Uh, you'll have a half inch washer, some lock washers, and a nut to install. Just make sure that the top holes that support bracket line up with the holes in the bumper bracket and then just uh, hand tighten those nuts up. <music> that point you want to make sure that you center the grill guard and then get everything tightened up. After you're getting everything cinched down, uh, use your half inch by one and a half inch bolt supplied to mount the straps of the grill guard to the bottom brackets. Uh, after that you're pretty good. You just need to go through and make sure everything's nice and tight and uh, centered up and then uh, you're good to go. Hey guys, we're going to do an install video on this ranch hand. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Take 50. <laughs>
Hey guys, we're going to do an install video on this Ranch Hand Legend grill guard for a Ford F-250. Sounded <laughs> <laughs> good to me. I, I meant to say the year. Yeah. 